Hello everybody and welcome. I am the Beta Plan and this is Crusader Kings 3, in which we are exploring the Northern Lords flavor pack. And of course we can do that only by one method, that is by playing the manliest of man, the Viking man, the ruler of the Isle of Man. So we are playing as Chieftain Kettle Bjornsson of the House of Flatfire. I am still not the house uh, lord because she has more troops and I realized wait a second partially of that is of course because of my low control and I thought I was increasing control in Ulster but I think in the last time when I switched this guy he was actually on organized levies so I'm not really sure how that happened but it happened. Uh, we'll just have to see what we can do. Uh, it's still kind of cool that we are playing as House Flavner and that we are actually we are considered obscure but nonetheless she chose a legacy? I don't know how she managed that because perhaps the new first legacy is like really cheap nowadays i don't know also you could be debating like how can you be called the man of man hastings was attacking over his east frankia certainly he is the man well if he could have held on to the title i don't know exactly how this went because it would have been an interesting view for us to how to see how the flavor pack works but this man now rules his old territory if i look at the territory it was held by Hastings. But then it was conquered by a populist revolt, so I assume he just lost a popular revolt, and then it was granted. But that's already interesting to me, because from the adventuring causes Bella, if I would, for instance, click on Cornwall, and I would look at the Vrengian adventure of Cornwall, it says to me that everything else, the lands that I will leave, the old landed family titles will be destroyed and given independence. So all of this will gain independence, so how did he hold on to this? Maybe because that war was started beforehand, or it's another type of causes ballet that I don't realize. But he got that, and I can see that he won, because he has all kinds of claims on this as if he held the titles. But now he is only down to this Yadom of Curasia. And Curasia, it lies over here, it's just a little bit weird. I don't know even how he held on to that, because that is part of his Frankia, so how did the populist revolt? I don't know. He now has like some incredible disassociated lands over there. I don't know how he's going to hold on to it. We're just going to have to see. This guy is currently rather weak, but he does have an ally. I, and I don't have the prestige to call in my allies. So I am like on the verge of like, should I attack? Should I not attack? I'm not entirely sure. And then there is this guy, which, you know, I don't mind him being, uh, being in the... Well, he could be imprisoned because he did wrong. But... Um, oh boy, okay, well, may you grow strong, Gear. You don't have the best of looks, but that shouldn't bother a Viking that much, right? But, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit worrisome to me that, um, uh, or a little bit sad to me that I can't really attack this guy when he, he, he there's a clear opportunity. And I'm a little bit afraid, she's 12, which is about the age that they start marrying out people, so all of a sudden you could get an ally in this neighborhood and I could get stomped. You know, the problem is Meef is too strong, for instance, for me to attack directly, and is way strongly allied, can't attack him. Kunacht would be the one to attack, but we're just a little bit low. I guess my troops can handle it, but along with the ally, not much, but... I, I'm just... I'm, I'm, I don't think it's wise. The Norse people are famously... Fastidiously clean? Oh, okay, I didn't realize that. One of life's great delights is hearing even our hardiest of foes bitterly admit that no man's beard is better combed. Ah. Uh -huh. No man's hair is more regularly soaped, and no man's face scrubbed quite so clear of blemishes as that of a good Norseman. Today is bath day, but I feel as though a change of routine might be good. After all, if all the Norse are well groomed, does it not behoove a chieftain to be the best groomed? Rigorously bathing. Massive health boost. Okay, okay. Or attraction opinion, or no, the usual is just fine. No, let's get a massive health boost. That is a new one. And it's just a straight up boost. Holy moly, this guy is healthier than healthy. Yeah, I'm gonna switch out of this in a moment and go to serve the crown. I want to have that control grow, so I'm gonna go for authority focus, serve the crown, get that control to grow, because I made... A boo-boo there, that would have been a much better decision. And I apologize for all those who have been screaming that at the screen. But yeah, I tend to record a few episodes at the time. Uh, most of the time it's free. Uh, 
He can vert to Lollardly. That doesn't bother him. How, how strong are you, actually? 993, that's not a lot. And you're allied to the, the guy beneath you. That wouldn't mind, and he's not very strong. Yeah, if we have all our allies in here, but we don't. Cost 75 prestige to do the war. Calling in an ally would probably be 75 prestige as well. We could possibly gain a county over here. And of the duchies, I would like to get man. I wouldn't mind Straclyde, but this is, might be a difficult one with my current overlord. Of course, I'm very good in getting Ulster. I'm really good on the way there. And Knecht I have started with. But, uh... uh opportunities. I'm gonna go for pedagogy. Scientific doesn't really matter because I'm not the head of our culture. It really doesn't help me anything if I do that, but I could take this boy and educate him. Considering how healthy I still am, I have a chance of, well, being alive to, uh, teach him something for some time. My dear father, I call upon your honor to uh, the Yardom of Iceland. Except this was ex expected. It's a holy war. I'm gonna let him win, because it's good for our faith, and I can't help in time, because <laughs> she already got bashed. Yeah, before I would even arrive, her forces would be dead. Oh, and she's already captured. Here, even if I would have sent forces, it doesn't matter. This is an interesting one, though. Y'all Ivar has declared war on King Cousinton. He's attacking the Alp Scotland directly. And they have allies. For instance, in Meath. And Powers is not that strong. Oh, oh Gwyneth has uh, conquered all that Powers had. That, this is a war. Uh, Christian's veins have now unlocked Crusades. Protect us. Wait, already? What happened? Hold on, what is causing to... Uh, Constantinople still stands. The opposite is just where it is in the start of this game. This is fine. We haven't conquered... Uh, hold on. Can Canterbury is still in their hands. Why have the Crusades been unlocked? Don't know. Also knows that East Anglia has gone alert. Okay. But yeah, I couldn't have helped my daughter because she got immediately trapped. Well, that's unfortunate. Straklut. Oh no, you've already gained some military power. I just don't have the... I don't have the... I have the piety, but I don't have the, the, the manpower. Manpower is, is what preventing me a lot of things to do. What I could look into is raise local raiders. No, everything is still pretty raided. This isn't, but... Huh. We'll love to raid. But Gwyneth also will have an army that would just... Straight up murder me. Well, this is just an interesting war. Nostal army is out of Moray over here and of Dorna. I wish you still could get a like a a a, a set here like a a flag. Notify me when I can change this, but that still isn't a thing. Uh, translating a book. Instruction on alchemy in the Latins of Wisdom or the Antimitica and uh, the commentaries of Diophantus. I don't think that would re have reached us. I'm just gonna go with that one. Because I know I can make more. No, I cannot. I don't have enough to 200 proceeds to do that. Why are you notifying? Uh, showing like it could be. Six days left. Click. Thank you very much. Let's go to Ulster. Let's try and get some things to work. 
At least Mon is once again us. As once we gain these counties to become, uh, well, how shall I put it? Uh, have higher control, then we can do things. There is the longhouse, that is perfect. That gives us more prestige gain. W along with additional levies. Uh, improve slightly, the translation will be concluded faster. And I gain some experience immediately, or yes, some sleep will do us good. We'll improve significantly. Let just, let's just get some sleep. So, uh, but it's very interesting to see what is happening here. And it's also possibly interesting for you that you probably hit a skip in the song. That's because nature cold, and I have to answer that. I guess I'm growing older. So therefore, a little skip in the video, because, well, if you didn't knew that, and it might be interesting for you to know, uh, yeah, just, just share it with me, old friend, what, what you know about these uh, book translations. <laughs> Uh, is that if you go to a uh, if you are in a sequence of events those sequences always happen at the same time which is kind of interesting i've been corresponding with your cancer bjorn and i have seen some new light okay you like me better but that is just a man a boy beneath you i am so glad we didn't attack you indeed wait a second yeah but now your ally meef is busy Hold on, if we ever wanted to attack, this might be the moment. The Clown War for the conquering of this county. We'll raise it all. And let's call in one ally, just to make sure that it will work. You are... You, you might not come, because I know how you work. Sometimes they just don't... You have six men, you are not worthy of calling in. No, we're gonna try it all alone. Uh, we'll improve significantly. Uh, slightly. Significantly. I will take the stress. And we can start sieging down. He is attacking us, even. But our forces win. Oh dear, but my wife has died. Um, so... I need a new spouse. Somebody with a lot of stewardship so we can hold on to these counties a little better than we are currently doing. Uh, I guess that will work. Excellent. She has joined us. Demand conversion. We can do that. And we now can hold on to all counties. Which means it should improve our our, our, our count, our uh, warrior count. Although that cost me prestige to get that marriage, so maybe I should have looked into that a wee little bit closer. Oh, and she's immediately pregnant, of course. Because that is handy. The effort has taught me so much. Accomplished translator and translating a book and a learning perk. Let's get open-minded so that people like me a little better. I still want to change to a 40 focus, but I can't do that. Come on! Break that siege. 100%! Immediately! Why is that? Captured air! I've captured a few things indeed. Let, let's immediately uh, uh, do this before we lose control there. There we go. Hit that. Stand down these men. And that is a huge increase. Just in time, and we still can ransom some people. Uh, apparently we let the children go out. That's fine. The girls have been gone out, but not, this, not his wife who is pregnant, which is very interesting. Let's see what we can have available here. Another... Northern Lords uh, flavor pack expansion event, I think. Surviving amid strife. The latest work of my acquaintance, Earl Sigtrig, Sigtrig, has become all the range at court of late. The piece deals with success and growing greatness, and uh, he has publicly dedicated it to me. Blood lasts for the moon. When red plumed war comes to his lands, He'll never find a keener set of hands. Then all shall tremble as he takes field, and show to the foe that there's no thick enough shield. 
So far, I've kept my thoughts to myself, but the buzz has grown too dramatic to ignore much longer. I don't quite feel right about this. Uh, and he can lose opinion, but I always gained thing. Or oh, he is... I can see his truly heartfelt. And he gains opinion, and I gain prestige. Thank you so much, because I was lacking on it severely. Uh, we'll just go apostate. I really want to switch to authority focus. I really, really do. I really want this child to become part of us, because you know what? That is your heir to be. That should give me quite a bit of money. Can't pay for her for 22 gold, and can't pay for her as 100 gold. You know, we really ought to tell her. Ought to concubine her, keep her around. This is such an interesting uh, way things are, are now shaping up. And there is another daughter to me. Sure. Daughter is fine. Son would have been a bit of a problem. What is all happening here? Yep, but I don't want to do that. I can take a concubine, apparently. Oh, I can take her as a concubine. I don't think that's useful. Actually, you do get a claim to Maastricht. That's not going to work. Maastricht lies. I am familiar with... Yep, there it is. So... I don't think that's a good one to take. I can challenge your Rook to a trial of combat. Has committed crimes against you. Deviant. But cannot be imprisoned, allowing you to challenge him by trial of combat. He has eight. This is always an int this is also a, a family line I would once once love to play. You have Akra and they have a, a one brother. I did this in CK2, or a, a nephew it is. Yeah, here. But he starts as Azathru, not as Kephalic, and you can do something about that. Uh, if Chieftain Kettle is victorious, I kill him. He has eight prowess. I have seven. Ugh. And otherwise is killed by you, otherwise... If he is victorious, I just gain stress, and he pays me gold if I win. Let's try this. Let's try a new event. I arrive in the designated spot near Stade. St I, I go all the way to Germany for this? Okay. Um, but sure. In good time and find your Harker is already waiting for me. Along with a small entourage of witnesses. Whatever else may be, Harker is fit to fight and willing to risk meeting me man to man. The formalities are brief. We all know why we're here. And we're long past the point of talking. Weapons are handed out and our retinues retreat and observe from a safe distance. The trial by combat begins. Oh, boy howdy. That is a really manly man, aren't they? For a few brief moments, uh, Jarl, Rurker and I pace in lazy half-circles, each watching for an opening. I have my axe ready to defend myself while he clutches his sword firmly to hand. This fight may only be till the first blood, but that doesn't ease my nerves. With a sudden twitch, I bow our bow begins. We swear by Frigg's wisdom, scum, screams my opponent, whirling his sword furiously at around to me. Maybe if I wait and trips his sword. Oh, here. Wait and hope you stay still, patiently hoping that Hurricane just makes a mistake. Low chance to increase your likelihood of success, medium increase to risk of injury. Union for God scum, a high increase to your chance of likely success. Very high increase to risk injury, so that is kind of weird, because it's to first blood, you charge in swirling wildly, or this will work, this will work just like it does in the Legends right? Legendary technique, that's because I have higher learning apparently, uh, you try to copy a famous move from your favorite book. High increase the likelihood of success and low chance of injury. Let's use that one. I do my best to recall the legends in the spur of the moment and try to help my access the heroes of old. It's enough for a soul blow against my surprised foe. Harker, as we're told, is carefully calculated, waiting for the precisely the right point to reply with several quick slices of a sword. My form was good with only small errors, and Harker's stance is failing. My opponent's guard is fierce, and I feel far from victory. Maybe if I wait a bit? No. Uh, or let's show likely skull, which is a... No, uh, there's high risk of injury, and it's to first blood, so let's not. Marking bows, you make fun of Harker's poor level of fame. No increase the likelihood of success, no increase of injury, but I lose stress and he gains stress. So sure, why the heck not? 
Uh, my words cut deep into her August ego. Everyone knows of my fame. My prestige and his reputation pales by comparison. Is that true? That's just... He's established. I, <laughs> I am lower in fame. What the... Oh, wait. Fame. That's based on this, right? Not on that. Right? Or am I confusing the two of them? Otherwise, I don't know what's, what's up. Uh, Akira, do you have a thing? Yeah, you do, so I, I'm not sure. We're both as obscure, so that's, it's just weird. But anyways. Uh, then again, I did have a poem written for me. And his reputation pills by comparison. Hurricane tries hasn't to, to launch a quick slash at me, but the blow was easily swatted away. My form was good, with only small errors. Oh, the same thing as, as the last time. Let's do it like in the Legends again. And there we go. It will my body to match the vivid mental picture of Legends, shifting into an awkward stance while whirling my axe. Then somehow exact everything just... works? I brush aside Hororka's guard with ease, knock the sword from his hand, and s send him plummeting to the ground. Before I know it, I'm getting ready to split his groin in two. Surprised, confused, and increasingly terrified, it's all Hororka can do to stammer out yield. I am victorious. He gains a wounded trait. I win the single combat due to uh, uh, his injury risk score. And victory! Resting easy back in uh, in my capital, Hull Mountain, I exult in my success. My axe, you, my axe, late across my lap. The satisfying aches and pains rippling across my body remind me of a small moment in the bout. Little victories and f fierce fought defeats, each winding towards. The Yarl's loss. A sack of silver rests against my shin, the satisfying weight a testament to justified well served. To justice well served. I had each coin counted one by one in front of everyone before we rode home. Yesterday we put our quarrel before the guards, and the guards answered wisely, justice is served. And he pays me gold. And all of a sudden we have gold. All of a sudden we have it. We still can even raise a runestone again. I think we should. Do we still have the runestone over here? We do. How long does that last for? Conquest runestone. Oh, 30 more years. That's fine. Let's do it. Uh, perhaps my vanquished foe. Yes, we will we'll, we'll speak of you. Um, that sounds like a good idea. And we will place it... Though this is the same as the last time we did. So either in Maya we could do or here in Berfin. Uh, or Oriel, uh, one of these counties. But I did it over here. I think I want to place it where I won. Like this one, uh, ho this holding is, this is more developed than this county. So this one can become bigger in the end. There's so much room in Ireland. Like, it starts very low, but you can make this into a powerhouse if you build this up. Um, yeah, let's, let's just do it where we did it. Once again, a ton of prestige, piety gain, but it's mainly that those things that I want to get. I want to make sure that you inherit Mon Oriel Mayo and which other two titles? Succession. But not Ulster and not Brefin. Okay. Huh. We probably should do this as well. But, uh... We put a rune stone now here, right? Yeah. Let's put it here then. Let's put gathering holes up in here. Now, are we going to increase this for 230? Yeah, let's do this instead of the law. Oh, darn. That causes some problems. Uh, wife, are you managing domain? Yes, you are. So this is... I've gone over my max, but sure. Still, I think that is quite a bit of conquest. I mean, we've gone from the east to the western shore of Ireland. And he won his war. For this one county. Well done, Ivor the Boneless. Because you were faced with quite an opponent. In fact, you are rather weak right now. Let me just conquer your county. 
Wait, 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 wait. You have stronger allies than expected. Yeah, hold on. I mean, you don't have a lot of troops, but I don't have... No, 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 no. They still have enough troops combined that I that I cannot handle that. Which is, which is your third one? Moray. But Moray can't really answer that if... No, they can, right? They, I think they can. But it's just too much against my warriors. Shouldn't do this. It's not a wise move to do so. It's going to be interesting to see what happens once Ivar dies. Oh, he's... Uh, oh, if he's raiding... That means I can probably raid. Yes, I can. Let's go. So that we can also gain some nice loot. And not uh, doesn't go all to my boss. I don't know why the raid sign isn't showing. You're also getting quite big. At 800 men. Yeah, I don't know why I couldn't raid that. My boss can, but I can't. Uh, county corruption. That's unfortunate. There we go. You can raid this at least. I f I'm now in a race with my own yowl in order to try to get something uh, going. Oh my god, his army moves faster than I do. But I can at least skip to here. Gain this one. And he's now going over there. Uh, this is this this is at least going to give us some money. I'm uh, I'm pleased with that. <sighs> we could also again go to Desmond. I see. I guess those last little bit of raids are going to be all she wrote for this episode. We can go over here to Desmond. That should work out fine. They have some troops here, but um, my quality is better. I feel like I'm fine with that. He pays a hundred gold for his daughter. That is significant amount of money. And they have secondary spouses, I just realized, because they're insular. So you can always create new children. You know what? I'm gonna accept that. She's too young to concubine. We're gonna get a very nice bonus here. We're, we're gonna f stand our ground. Yep, Desmond losing his troops. Very good. Thank you so much. And there we captured somebody of interest again. Ransom. For 10 gold only. Not as important. How about your spouse? 25. Much more. Thank you so much. Let's go to over here. Battle's even easier now. Perfect. Going to continue with that. And... We're almost done with the, the series. Um, the episode, I mean. Sorry. Just uh, just doing a little bit of raiding, just making sure that this is a true... Viking episode. Do -do 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 -do. Now let's see what our gains are. Let's just up the speed now, because we are no longer in a fret. No longer have to kite around that army. Oh! He now what? Oh, and they're now part of Gwynedd. Great! How did Gwynedd take these guys? Oh, of course, because they they went um, Lollard. Well, there is 28 gold, 28 prestige, and 10 gold for her. I'm going to end the episode over here, and I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.